Okay, guys, we'll take a look at this quick while it's running. <laughs> this looks a lot like the last video as far as the coil is concerned, right? Unless I haven't finished it. Well, this isn't the same coil. That coil that I showed in my last video died, and it died within 24 hours. It died pretty fast. The galvanized coating on the wire uh, deteriorates through galvanic action. It became just iron or steel against uh, a wet surface with copper, became a nice battery, created rust, and killed that battery. So I rewound it yesterday with aluminum. didn't work. I tried a different core. didn't work. Finally, I tried to just replicate what I did in my last video, and at least I've got this happening. I've got one of these uh, uh, spinner magnets running right there. And this is what it sounds like. It's a radio. That's picking up the spark off that reed switch. It gives you an idea of the RPM that it's running at. It's not going all that fast, but at least it's running. But this is another way to switch this stubble field. And um, there's no battery in this or even a capacitor. It's straight off the coils, just like uh, Laser Saber showed. And like I say, this coil is not finished at all. And the reason I'm not going any further with this, because this will stop. This galvanic action breaks down the zinc on that uh, uh, steel wire and as soon as that happens this goes down to about 0.3 volts at about 10 milliamps and it won't run anything that I found so I don't know where to go with this um, you can switch this electronically go ahead and finish the coil up but uh, I'm kinda stuck at this point but I did want to share with the folks that uh, have these little spinner kind of motors that you can get a spinner motor uh, to work off this. If you get the reed switch just right, use a little neo magnet, hold your mouth just right, you know, pray to the east wind or whatever, you can get it to work um, very, very hard. I couldn't even get this thing to work again. It is uh, loose and floppy as that was. I couldn't get that to run even that, but I could get it to run the spinner motor. Now the core I used before was just a half inch bolt from Lowe's hardware store and it worked better than this eighteen dollar soft iron core that I sent away for so if you want to just use one of these steel bolts go ahead you know what the heck so it does magnetize a little bit at these low voltages I don't think it's going to matter but anyway that's what where I'm at right now I'm stuck until we figure out a way to keep this from just breaking down through galvanic action and becoming a pile of rust this is about as far as I want to go with this. Thanks for watching.